Hey everybody, Art Roy here. Welcome to today's Real Estate Things. Today I wanna to talk to you about the Fed. Specifically, the Fed wants home prices to go down. That's their goal with the interest rates going up and the, the cost to have money going up for the mortgage lenders. That's driving the interest rates up for the end user. We've seen some ups and downs. Currently it's down just slightly. So that's all great news for buyers. But I will tell you that from the Federal Reserve's perspective, they feel like they're starting to win the fight against inflation if they can bring home prices down. Bad if you're trying to sell your house, that's not good for you. But that's what they're trying to do to cool down the economy because it was so hot for so long during COVID. According to the S&P CoreLogic, Case Schiller index says that home prices nationally have dropped from the previous month about 1%. Values are still at about 10% higher than they were earlier this year, even though, and that holds true for where I'm at in Navarre, Florida, Northwest Florida, in the panhandle. Prices are still pretty solid. We haven't seen a big drop, and I honestly don't expect to see a big drop in this area, just because we've got the beach and we've got the military bases, and so there's a lot of energy to keep the prices up. In case there was any lingering doubt, the new data shows that the housing market has definitely turned, according to Mark Zandi, chief economist at Moody's Analytics. According to him, it feels somewhat like a cliffhanger moment. He said, as you reflect on it, it's kind of like a whiplash. When things go up, they have to come down. And that's what we're seeing. We're starting to see it come down a little bit. And the downward direction, the Federal Reserve wants to see prices go as it tries to curb inflation. According to Greg Ziller, manager and director at S&P Down Jones, he would like to see home prices go down so that it cools down the economy just a little bit. Interest rates hit the housing market fast, according to Odia, Cashy, the chief economist of First American. The index mostly reflects signed contracts in May through August, which is when the 30 fixed year rate mortgage was at a mid 5% range. So that's good news for us, which means that, however, prices likely have further to fall, especially in the most expensive markets where prices drop in all 20 cities tracked by the Case Schindler Index, San Francisco, Seattle, and other West Coast cities had some of the steepest declines, said Stuart Garble. That's something that we definitely have seen over here in the panhandle of Florida is that people will sell their, their homes that are very inflated out in California and they'll come out here and buy a home at a more reasonable price that is in sometimes a much nicer location. Since Florida is a lot more affordable than it is over there, a lot of people are finding their way to us. Very interesting stuff for sure.